What's up guys, how y'all doing? I'm about to finish off my macros and I thought I'd record a little short video showing y'all how I just throw shit together to finish off the macros for the night. This usually happens whenever I'm all by myself, like right now the family's out in town, they're visiting her family. So, uh, and I had to spend the day here at the house doing some junk or whatever. So, I didn't feel like making any dinner or anything, I just been kind of vegging around and stuff. And right now I still have like, let's see, 77 protein, 69 carbs, and 12 fats to finish up for the night. And I don't feel like cooking. You know, I can make a ton of stuff for that kind of macros, but I don't feel like cooking. So I'm going to make basically what I'd use for my leftover macros. Uh, you can, you can, you know, add different shit to make it different sizes or whatever to fit whatever macro needs you have. You know, I make it anywhere from, you know, having 30 proteins left and maybe 20 carbs and stuff like that. You can make this thing almost non-fat. Or, uh, I mean, you just, shit, you just eat the freaking Greek yogurt by itself, you know, if you need it fat-free something. But anyway, let me show y'all what I do here. To get these macros, the 77 protein, 69 carbs, and 12 fats, what I've done is I've come up with 431 grams of fat-free faye. I like using faye because it's nice and thick. And hopefully I have enough here because that's going to suck. Okay, so I've got about 431 grams right there, and then I'm gonna do one scoop of protein. I needed some pro. I needed some fats. You, you see, I've got 12 grams of fats recorded. So and all I have is fat-free Greek yogurt and shit. So I had to come up with something. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my cookies and cream. You know, it's always good for some fats. It's got three and a half grams of fat in it per serving. I'm gonna go ahead and add a serving of this, and that'll help me fill up some proteins as well, since I've got about eight. 80 grams I need to hit. And I get a whopping 38 grams of this. So let me go ahead and add this in. Okay, got my 38 grams in there. And what I like doing, I'm using a whey right now, but this is a pretty thick whey. Um, I prefer using a casein. Like if I'm using something other than this, like let's say I'm using like a... a Dimetalize like the cinnamon bun. I'll choose the casein as long as I have enough carbs and shit because you know there's a few more carbs in it. But what I'll do is I'm just going, I'm stirring this up while I'm talking, by the way. Um, what I do is I'll use the casein because it's nice and thick, and then I can add, you know, some, some almond milk or some water or some tarani, you know, something to thin it out and increase the volume at the same time. Okay, so I've got this mixed in there right now. Nice little cookies and cream whip. You see that? I'm not going to do anything, do anything too special about it. See me licking that shit up. And of course, you know, I add, I, I use these to dip with. I'll show you all that in a minute. So anyway, I was still left over with a ton of fats. I had eight gram fats left, 26 uh, carbs and three proteins. So I was like, went to digging into the, into the um, pantry for some good shit to eat. And I really couldn't find anything to set my macro straight on it. So I ended up Finding some of my kids crackers. I bought them these, I bought Van these chocolate peanut butter crackers. They look good. Pretty good stuff. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna crumble that shit right in here. Sometimes like if I just have, if I hit all my, all my fats and my proteins and I just have some carbs, I'll throw some cereal on top or something. It really just depends, you know, I just try to, Throw shit together. It's just like a bowl of junk. That YOLO bowl, but macroed out. And some of these crackers all crumbled up in here. See that? Give a nice little stir. That's pretty good. Now sometimes, depending on the, uh, my shit. Oh, here it is over here. So depending on what um what way I'm using and how much how much um Greek yogurt yogurt and shit I'm using, it might have that sour taste from the Greek yogurt, and I want something sweet or something. So I'll go ahead and add a little bit of that tarani. I'm gonna go ahead and add some tarani in here, some of the vanilla flavor. 
Just a little bit. Just sweeten it up. Kind of balance out the flavors of everything. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay. Next thing is, I'm going to have five of these magic pops. Hopefully y'all can get them. Mmm. Yeah, let's see, what am I at? Six times five is 30, All right? Serious business, baby. Gotta put that one back. And that's pretty much it, guys. Now I just sit back, break little pieces off, and uh, let me show y'all what's up. Bam. So now I just break, break pieces off. Get it like that. Mmm. That's good stuff. Got the cinnamon flavor this time. That makes cinnamon, strawberry. I'm a kind of flavors, even savory stuff like onion, cherry cheese, stuff like that. There you have it. My quick little get all your macros in for the night type meal. Now I can go sit in front of the TV, veg out, munch on my shit, check out what's going on on Facebook and junk. Don't forget to comment down below, like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share my shit. Tell your peeps. I'm out. Later.